Welcome back to my animal education series. Today we're doing a video on a very unique species of rattlesnake that is only found in Isla Santa Catalina in the Gulf of California. Now, what makes this species so unique, you might ask? Well, it's actually a species of rattleless rattlesnake, which kind of boggled my mind at first, but once I did some research into the species, I came to really love this species. Unfortunately, I was not able to get any videos myself of the rattleless rattlesnake, and then I reached out to several zoos and herpetological societies, and I got no luck. But when we reached out to the Indianapolis Zoo, because we knew that they had rattleless rattlesnakes, being a larger zoo, we didn't know if they would uh, be willing to send us some video, but luckily for us, they were more than happy to send us some photos of the rattleless rattlesnake. So if you guys are anywhere close to the Indianapolis area, make sure you stop by their zoo and check out their desert biodome. That's my personal favorite part of the whole zoo because that has a lot of reptiles and you guys know I love reptiles. But make sure you guys check out that zoo. They, I've had the amazing opportunity to interview their staff there on site. And then now they've uh, sent me videos for the, sent me photos for this video, sorry. And they've just been super supportive of everything I've done. So I can't give a big enough thank you to the staff at the Indianapolis Zoo. So I want to make sure that you guys check out that zoo because they've been so awesome to me and uh, what I've wanted to do here. But without any further ado, let's get right into the facts about the rattleless rattlesnake. The Santa Catalina rattlesnake is a pit viper like all rattlesnakes. And they have heat seeking pits on the side of their head that helps them track the heat that is emitted by their prey items. And like all snakes, they can also track their prey and detect chemical trails within the air by sniffing the, air, uh, sniffing the air with their tongue. And how they do this is they use their tongue, which is forked, and they flip it up and down outside of their mouth, and they bring it back in and rub it on the top of their mouth on an organ called the Jacobson's organ. And this organ tells the snake the difference between different chemicals or scents out in the air. Very much how your nose can detect dif the difference between the salty ocean and the awful smell of gasoline. These aren't really large snakes, and they only get about 30 inches in length, and they spend a lot of their time in rocky and sandy areas of their home range. Their light coloration really helps them blend into the light colored stones and the sand. As you can tell from this photo provided to us from the Indianapolis Zoo and Fred Kate, their coloration is absolutely incredible for their home range because it blends right into the stones and the sand as I just mentioned. Here is a picture of the Santa Catalina rattlesnake's tail. And as you can see from the picture, it's missing the main characteristic of a rattlesnake, the rattle. Over time, these snakes have lost the rattle at the base of their tail and it, uh, through sheds and are not fully developing. Researchers believe that these snakes have lost their rattle over time to better hunt birds. Also with research on the Santa Catalina rattlesnake, is that their diet is primarily 70% rodents, with the remainder of their diet being made up of lizards and birds. Being a small-bodied snake, or just a small animal in general, that means you fall prey to a lot of larger animals. In the case of the rattlesnake here, researchers have noted that these rattlesnakes fall prey to peregrine falcons, ravens, foxes, red-tailed hawks, barn owls, feral cats, and even humans. The Santa Catalina rattlesnake is a very close relative of the red diamond rattlesnake right over the water in Mexico. If you look past the colors of these snakes, the pattern and their build are extremely similar. Researchers believe that the small sizing of the Santa Catalina rattlesnake helps them get into rocky areas and up onto small trees and shrubs. And even in the hottest months of the year, they have been observed climbing into these shrubs and these small trees to help regulate their body temperature, which is something that all ectotherms or cold-blooded animals have to do to help regulate their body temperature to prevent them from getting too hot or too cold, because that would kill them either way. A lot of warm-blooded creatures like us our body kind of regulates our temperature for us. Uh, for us, as an example, we sweat, which helps cool off our body, but reptiles and amphibians and the Santa Catalina rattlesnake does not have that option. He has to figure out where he's gonna go to regulate his own body temperature. Unlike most snakes, these snakes do not appear to be too afraid of people, but there's also conflicting information online about the snake being diurnal or nocturnal, which are two complete opposites. But there's not a whole lot of information online about these snakes, but I saw a little bit of information online. I thought they'd be a super cool species, but unfortunately there's just not a whole lot of information. The current IUCN status of this rattlesnake is critically endangered, and there are several factors that affect that. For one, they are only found on one island in the Gulf of California, and that creates a pretty small gene pool. They're also being eaten by feral cats, and they're also being collected illegally for the pet trade. I want to send out a special thank you to the Indianapolis Zoo, Fred Kate, 
Kim Robinson and Haley Cook for sending me photos of this rattleless rattlesnake. I just think it's an absolutely amazingly unique species and I definitely wanted to learn more about it. And this video would not have been possible without their support. So again, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. Don't forget to leave a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.